So I just finished reading Fairy Tale by Stephen King, and I can absolutely see why so many people have polarized opinions about the book. You either love it or you hate it. Now, mind you, I'm new to reading books and making books my personality. So take my opinion with a grain of nipple, because I went into this book blindly, not knowing if it was going to be good or bad. And when I began reading Fairy Tale back in September of 2022, I wanted to read it because it was a fresh, new released book by Stephen King and because I heard of how talented of a writer Stephen King is I wanted to see for myself and the wild thing is the book took me two years to finish I read the first half of the book in just one week back in September 2022 but the second half of the book it took me almost two years and it wasn't that I read like one chapter every single month but after I finished reading the first half of the book I took a two-year break the last two weeks I literally, through John Wick, grit and determination, powered my way through the second half of the book. Finally, glad to say that it's over. And the moment that I finished reading the book, it felt like an accomplishment because Fairy Tale, believe it or not, is a very lengthy book, especially for a beginner reader like me. The audiobook is over 24 hours long, and the physical book itself has over 600 pages. Myself, I did the audiobook, and even though I had to listen to 24 hours to get past the boring parts of the book, it took some motivation and willpower. I'm not even going to lie. In hindsight, I probably should have started with one of Stephen King's shorter novels, but I am actually glad that I chose Fairy Tale to be my introduction to Mr. King himself. Because now that I finished the book that is over 600 pages long, that's like a huge boost to my self-esteem and confidence as a guy with ADD and ADHD to say like, hey, if you put your mind to it, you can actually read a big brick of a book. Fairy Tale has its ups and downs. There's some parts of the book that are really slow and drawn out. But based on my research about Stephen King, apparently that's typical of a Stephen King book. And what I mean by that is he takes his time to describe things. I'm talking about taking five pages to describe the layout of a bathroom. And just when you think he couldn't say any more about the toilet or the bathroom mirror, you flip to the next page and now he's talking about the walls and the shower. Power curtains. But yeah. And despite the title being fairy tale, it is 100% not a children's book or a Disney princess movie. Fairy tale deals with adult themes and mature conversations. Without giving any spoilers, the book is about a dark and twisted take on the classic fairy tale elements. And the plot has the whole typical good versus evil struggle, and it shows the bond between a human and their dog. And there's also an element of overcoming childhood trauma, which makes the main character a lot more relatable, and it made me want to be sympathetic towards them, like I wanted to see them succeed. Despite what I said about the boring parts of the book, they weren't bad. They were necessary for the world building and to learn about the character's background and his story. But with that said, there was something about Fairy Tale that I did not like. And this is not a spoiler, but it had an implied bedroom scene, and it's a personal issue that I have when books force those bedroom scenes into it, and it's just like, is that really necessary? If the story is just as good without implying the scene, why include it at all? I guess to me, it just really felt unnecessary and forced onto that page. It just... Yeah, yeah, it's a personal thing. And remember, I'm a beginner reader, so I could absolutely be wrong, but the novel itself had two distinct halves. Like, the first half is all about talking about the main character, his story, his background, his childhood trauma. That way, we understand why he acts the way he does, and it's basically a portrayal of the real world. Whereas the second half of the book, it's all about the fantasy fairy tale land. And I thought once I got into the second half of the book, you know, talking about the fantasy elements, it was going to get better, but it just felt really predictable. Every single interaction and scene, you just kind of knew what was going to happen next. And although it was predictable, I still found it to be engaging because of Stephen King's writing style and execution. Like, don't get me wrong, it was still a good read, although I like having plot twists and the whole unpredictability thing, but again, that's the personal thing. On the basis of it panning out the way that it did, Great. 
loved it. So it's really strange for me to say, but although I found the first half of the book a little boring because he goes into the mundane details about the main character, I'm kind of glad that he did because it allowed me to see why Charlie is the way that he is, which is the main character. Like you understand his thought process. And I alluded to it earlier, but it allowed me to be sympathetic with him as he made his uh, decision-making action. So I guess my takeaway from fairy tale and reading my first Stephen King book is this. Based on me enjoying the boring first half of the book as we learn about the main character, if there's another book out there that Stephen King wrote where it's about someone living in small town America in a very rural community and it's just about their life on a random Tuesday, I feel like I would enjoy it and I would want to read that book. So overall, fairy tale is the classic story of good versus evil and I liked it. I can't say that I loved it, but I liked it. It showed me how good of a writer Stephen King really is. And I definitely want to give another Stephen King book a try. It's just, I don't know which one to go to next. It would probably behoove of me to pick a book that's more popular within Stephen King's uh, bibliography. But for a blind read, uh, fairy tale, not bad. Enjoyed it. It was a good experience. Would I read it again? Probably not, but if it ever turns into a movie adaptation, I'll watch it. So yeah, that's my thoughts and review on Fairy Tale by Stephen King without spoilers. I'll talk to you next time. Stay safe.